This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we will be given a string as an input and this string is nothing but an expression. So we have to evaluate the parenthesis inside this as per the conditions given in the question. So it is given in the question that for every integer present inside the parenthesis it should be multiplied with its level and finally we have to print the total sum. So first I will rearrange this given expression so that it will be easy to visualize. So this is the given expression. So here we can see that we have four different colors red, green, yellow and black. So black is nothing but the level 1. So it is the outermost. So in the integer present in level 1 is 40. Similarly inside this we have level 2 and then the green is level 3. And then inside that we have red color which is level 4. So in every level we have specific integers. So as per the conditions given in the question, every integer should be multiplied with its level and we have to print the total sum. So first let us take the integer 10. So it is present in level 4. So 10 into 4. So the integer into its level, it is 40. So 10 into 4 is 40. And then the next is 20. So this is present in level 3. So 20 into 3, we will get 60. And then we are going to the previous level. So level 2. So in the level 2 we have the integer 30. So 2 into 30 we get 60. And then again when we are going to move to the previous level. So we will move to the level 1. So in level 1 we have the integer 40. So 40 into 1 is 40. So now when we add all these integers we get 200. So in our output also we are printing 200. So this is how we get our output 200. So every integer should be multiplied with its level and we have to print the total sum in our output. So now let us also see our sample input 2. So this is the given expression for sample input 2. So here we have an integer 4 which is outside the parenthesis. So we can just completely ignore all the integers which are present outside the parenthesis. And now we have 3 opening parenthesis. So whenever there is an opening parenthesis the level increases 1 by 1. So in the third opening parenthesis we have the integer 1. So this integer 1 is present in level 3 because there are 3 opening parenthesis and after that it has closed. So now we are at level 2. So this integer 2 is present at level 2 because soon after opening the level 3 parenthesis after the integer 1 it has closed. So now we have moved to the previous level. So this integer 2 is in level 2. And again there is an opening parenthesis. So the level increases. So after opening the parenthesis we have the integer 3. So this integer 3 is present in level 3. So we have to put it in red color. And then again after the integer 3 the parenthesis is closed. So we move to the previous level. So the next integer 4 it is present in level 2. So this is how the level will be differing. So the integer 4 was in level 2 and after 4 we have a closing parenthesis. So now we have moved to the level 1. So now after closing again we have an opening parenthesis. So from 1 again we will come to level 2. So after opening we have the integer 5. So this integer 5 is present in level 2. So for level 2 we are giving the green color. So again we have closed the parenthesis after the integer 5. So we are moving to the level 1. So now we have moved to the level 1 and there is no open parenthesis. So now we are present in level 1. So this integer 6 must be considered as level 1 because there is not any special opening bracket for the integer 6. So now we have found all the levels. So now we can just apply the logic given in the question. For every integer we have to multiply with its level and finally we have to print the total sum. So this is what we should be doing. So let us take every integer and multiply it with its level and find the total sum. So we have two integers in level 3. So 1 and 3. So 1 into 3 is 3 and 3 into 3 is 9. So I am just writing both of the numbers here. So these are the two values which we will be getting in level 3. So now we should move to the level 2. So the level 2 is green color. So here we have the integer variables 2, 4 and 5. So the level is 2. So 2 into 2 is 4 and then 4 into 2 is 8 and 5 into 2 is 10. 
so these are the values which we will be getting in level 2 now level 1 so in level 1 we have only one integer so the yellow color represents the level 1 so we have the integer 6 so 6 into 1 is 6 so now we have to add all these integer values so 3 plus 9 plus 4 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6 we will be getting 40 so in our output also we are printing 40 so now let us see how to write a C program for this so first I am creating a new character array named sjar of size 101 and then using a scanf I am accepting the input expression and then I am creating three integer variables level, num and sum. So initially I am setting all of these values to 0. So now we are going to iterate through this character array sjar. So I am creating a loop. So this i loop iterates from 0 till i less than string length of sjar. So in every iteration first we will check whether the character is a opening parenthesis so while iterating through the expression whenever we come across a open parenthesis then we will be moving to the next level so i am executing level plus plus and whenever there is an opening parenthesis if we come across any integer then that particular integer would have been ended and now we should be forming a new integer so in order to form a new integer we have to reset the value of number to zero so I am setting num is equal to 0 and I am incrementing level. So these are the two things. And the next is there is a possibility of the character being a closing parenthesis. So whenever there is a closing parenthesis, we move to the previous level. So I am executing level minus minus. And then again, if there is any integer, then we would have completed that integer. So we have to reset the value of num. So I am setting num is equal to 0. So these are the two things which I am doing. So we will be making the num to 0 and we will change the level if the character is not opening parenthesis or a closing parenthesis then it will definitely be a digit so whenever it is a digit then we will apply the logic to convert the digit into an integer so we will multiply into 10 and we will add it with the current digit so in order to convert the ascii into decimal i am just subtracting the character with 0 so these are the things which we will be doing in the if else if and else block and now we have another condition inside this opening and closing parenthesis so before making the value of num to 0 we are going to check whether the num is not equal to 0 so if num is not equal to 0 then some integer value is present inside that num that is while iterating through the expression we would have came across some integer so in those cases only num will be not equal to 0 so before making num is equal to 0 we are going to check whether num is not equal to 0 if num is not equal to 0 then we have an integer so that integer should be multiplied with its level because we are simultaneously calculating level so we know the integer that is num and we know the level so num into level will be the product so we have to add that product with sum so we have to execute that condition in both of these if statements so we have to write statements like that sum plus is equal to num into level so before making the num to 0 we have to perform this so finally after the execution of this loop every integer will be multiplied with its respective level and it will be added with the sum variable so after the loop we can just use a printf statement and print the sum so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching